for those in Canada that live uh, uh, in a rural to extreme rural, like farm zoned uh, land uh, like me, I, I highly recommend this, uh, this option. It costs a pretty penny uh, uh, compared to uh, similar speed and package in an urban area with, through cut cable or, or um, fiber optics. But uh, because it's also cheaper, also quite a bit more affordable to live in countryside, you know, it's uh, actually, you know, it, it's, uh, it's, I would say, quite affordable, so to speak, considering everything. Uh, the, uh, the cost of living uh, is quite a bit less in the countryside. Okay, so what it is, is um, if in Canada, we have the three major ones. Uh, the equivalent of like in US Verizon, AT&T, and uh, what's the other one, Sprint. Here we have TELUS, Bell, and Rogers. And they all have their yeah, separate infrastructure, cable, fiber optics, and cell towers and stuff like that. Okay, so a while back in Alberta, BC, in British Columbia, they they rolled out a uh, a new option and what it is it's uh they they're using a rocket hub sort of a uh, router modem all rolled up into one and and the brand is zte rocket hub i'm going to put the link uh, below uh so you can go directly to uh to it and um with this rocket hub you can connect directly uh, sorry, before they, they, they've had it for quite a while. The thing is that they topped it out at 10 gig per month, gigabyte per month bandwidth. And it was like a uh, hundred and over a hundred dollars for just 10 gig. But now, um, Telus started this whole thing rolling in BC and Alberta. They are offering like a, if you live there, I highly recommend you look into it. If you, you live outside of the, uh, the, uh, the uh, urban areas, and they 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 give a maximum of five hundred uh, gigabyte for one hundred and ten dollars, but it's LTE speed. And if you're smart, if you do the requisite reading, research, in the uh, community forums and m mine, I highly recommend. I I went through the uh, Rogers community forum. Uh, I read uh, hours and hours on it in that. If you combine the, <laughs> the Rocket Hub with, with a specialized, dedicated, uh, and in my case, I bought a, uh, a, a, double, a double antenna, quotation, and, and, and also an external uh, antenna that is powered and was also specifically engineered, constructed, created for this specific hub called the ZTE uh, Rocket Hub for, uh, uh, for, to work on Rogers. And uh, so th this antenna I ordered to Amazon, it's gonna arrive in about uh, two weeks max, to double, basically double uh, the, 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 uh, the speed that I'm getting, the extraordinary, relatively extraordinary speed I'm getting with this. Just in the uh, window ledge uh, facing the nearest tower, which is much closer than, than I thought it was, like just six, seven kilometers from here only. And this is uh, LT also, real LTE, which is runs at, for your information, LTE runs on 700 megahertz, which is incredibly reliable uh, and stuff like that. Okay, um, the thing with the, uh, well, just by the way, I'm getting, I'm like, I'm getting uh, a max so far. I've had it for just two days. And the speedtest.net, uh, Okla, I'm getting a, a, a max of 33, 33 Mbps download in, in off hours, off traffic hours. And 5.8 uh, uh, 5 .8, 5 .8, uh, upload Mbps. And of course, it varies in the high, uh, higher uh, traffic. Uh, times it's it's in the uh, in, in the uh, in the twenties, the low twenties, and uh, of course the uh, the upload is 
half that or even a little bit less. But uh, <laughs> that's why I bought the antenna I, uh, before I ever got this first because I, I did my reading, I did my research and the antenna, really it's a one-time cost in me, it's like $300 or so, all shipping included tax, stuff like that. Uh, and because uh, I knew it was going to just double up whatever uh, speed I was getting by default with just the tiny little external uh, rabbit ears uh, antenna I, I'm getting from uh, that came along with the Rocket Hub. So I highly recommend Canadians if you uh, live in rural areas and you, this is basically your only option uh, for uh, for uh, respectable, you know, fast enough. Uh, a, a, a speed that uh, will prevent you from going insane and want to shoot yourself. This is it. Uh, so yeah, uh, one of the reasons why I'm bringing this up also, which is I usually don't do this often, bringing up uh, uh, stuff, tech stuff, is because my hope is that just like uh, TELUS has been around one or two years doing this in BC and Alberta, uh, the same service, same thing, same, same Rocket Hub, uh, same process, method, but they are offering like 500 gig for $110 without tax. And what I'm getting now is Rogers here in uh, Quebec near, near Ontario is 100, only 100 gig for 100 and... Uh, $45, $145, plus $15 for uh, for uh, a home phone, you know, which I, I used because uh, it's completely unlimited free local calling, which has been expanded greatly uh, about 10 years ago. So, um, so that's great. So, but yet still, you know, $160 without tax uh, for 100 gig. My hope is to, uh, but also, sorry, it's, it's called a heavy flex plan if you go to under Roger's website. So whatever usage you are, you, you are using in, in a amount. If you stay within a category, a level, because it's, I think it goes to, uh, yeah, it's minimum is like five gig, 10, 15, and then 25, 30, and it goes up to a uh, hundred. And if you stay inside a whatever category you, you are staying inside, you're going to pay whatever default price it is for that. Like for the default is minimum is five gig for seventy five dollars. So if which is no, no, it's quite fair also. So if you go a bit more than five gig, naturally you're gonna pay that pr that uh, that price for that category that you're going up to. And so because I'm quite a heavy user, uh, and I'm I'm, uh, I'm often going to go uh, quickly pass. Uh, well, hopefully I'm gonna monitor that closely my usage because one gig any gig above 100 gig is five dollars per uh, gig so i'm gonna monitor that carefully so that's why also i'm keeping i'm keeping my 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 present isp which is also 100 gig but it runs on just normal uh, uh old relatively slow y max for um uh, 2.4 4g speed which maxes out at eight point seven eight uh mbps download upload 3.8 uh the thing is that with this one and of course so 100 this one is also 100 gig per month but it's only 66 dollars uh per month without tax uh but i'm i think i'm going to keep this one because for the upload for the up i'm going to probably keep this one mostly for the upload and for the usual uh, surfing and uh, mostly non non uh, lower bandwidth re re requirement uh, type of uh, internet uh, activities, and also as a backup, you know, when, if and whenever one goes out for whatever reason, uh, maintenance or whatever, uh, I have I have a backup. But also the other thing is that this present one there, the the, the former, uh, not the former, but still the present, the, the one I've had before. The one I've had and I'm still going to have, I'm going to keep before Rogers, uh, which is just usual microwave wireless tower service that runs on 2.4 megahertz. And the tower is about 
seven, eight kilometers from here, S similar distance. It's also, they, they told me that they're going to uh, eventually also transform their towers. They're going to put like, oh, whatever, whatever, whatever it is, an LTE transformer ad adapter to compete, to uh, provide better value to compete with the ever encroaching, hey, look, look, this service of Rogers here in Talos and Bell. And in the fall, we're having Bell also going to Sovereign, uh, going to offer here a similar service like Rogers and Telus. And also, hopefully, all these three, we're gonna, you're gonna put uh, all, more pressure on, on themselves so that this service, LTE, cell cell phone infrastructure, home internet service, will you know go down in cost and increase the the uh, monthly bandwidth ceiling. So, uh, I'm gonna put the links uh, below, and I highly recommend you go check that out and you try it out. You have a 15 day. Uh, no question to ask, no questions, uh, no excuse, um, try out. And uh, yeah, so that this is one last reason why I'm bringing this up is because, you know, hopefully as if there's enough critical amount of people that are trying this service, you know, it will hopefully um, lower the price, will convince Rogers to increase the, the, the bandwidth per month and lower the price of this service. And by extension, tell us and Bell. All right, later.